David Fudge, and I'm from Sun City West, Arizona. Tom Sharp, and I'm from <coughs> Oakland, California. My name is Lita Dukeshire, and I am from Yarmouth, Nova Scotia, Canada. Uh, my name is Rehaerin Ovalle, and I'm from Dominican Republic. My name is David, and I'm from Sydney, Australia. I'm retired, but I was a biomedical engineer designing medical equipment. I was working for a pharmaceutical company. I'm a commission sales rep in the uh, tire industry, selling tires. I work for the uh, U.S. Border Patrol, and uh, I still am employed there. I've got about three years before I retire. I practiced dentistry for 47 years. And day trading is something I want to learn how to do and I haven't found a good mentor or a good training program to kind of help me along the way, so when I found uh, CTU, I thought this is definitely the place I wanted to jump in on. The chat room is just incredible. The support that you get from other team members that help you to identify stocks that may be moving or that are really looking good for trades. There's a lot of the, uh, the people that I've met here, uh, the instructors and you know, the other students too. Fausto and the team really took a, took their time with me. They put their money where their mouth is. They get the results. You know, you can actually see them make the actual trades instead of just teaching theory and, and you know, leaving it to you to work out in the real world. It's a very well-organized program. It's um, logically oriented for me. And being in the chat room, there are a lot of good people and I've gotten to know a few online and here I've gotten to know several more. But I think I just saw Fausto on a webinar uh, somewhere one day and I was impressed and so I decided to check it out. Here you are. Experience with Fausto. <laughs> <laughs> Fausto has been really helpful, really nice um, and I think the team he has around him makes it, you know, really, really easy. That I realized how much he really cares about his students learning. It wasn't something like that he's just trying to get to a part of his team. It's much deeper than that. An amazing guy. Um, met him on, uh, I remember uh, hearing his first video, his first live video, and uh, he has a lot of charisma, uh, and he's genuine how he sounds online. And I, I feel that he has a genuine interest in people and, and a sincere desire to see us grow and prosper. Now that I met him, see that the humble he is, you know, I see him as a very great man and mentor to follow into this field. At Cybertrade University, one of the biggest things that really always concerned me is I was you over 20 years ago. And what I needed more than anything was support. I need to learn and I need someone to hold my hand. Well, one of the big things we're very big on is we're very big on support and all the staff at Cybertree University is very, very well educated and trained how to trade the market. So when you call us, you're gonna be talking to a education advisor or an instructor and you're gonna see how much we really care about your trading. A lot of people you know, really don't look at you not only as a student, but we look at you as a family member because trading is a family. Or I certainly feel like I'm included as part of a family, if you will. Right? It's just a family feeling. They're taking care of you. We will always be there. We were one of the very first people who pioneered webinar technology when it first came out in the late 90s. When you log into our website, you're going to see that we have courses, recordings. We have it going through step one, step two, step three, from beginners to advanced students. And you could come back and take the class as many times you want for free. 70% of our training courses are live and we train you live in the market. So you're not just reading out of a textbook. It's like a different adventure. It's just a different course because different movements in the market, different situations happen all the time, but it's the same game. And that's what teaches you how to trade in today's volatility at Cybertree University. All right, everybody, uh, let me do a quick audio check. Can everyone hear me loud and clear? Just give me a chat back. Okay, can you hear me okay? Fine, fine, fine. All right. Just give me a second over here, guys, and uh, when you get started, just give me a minute.
All right, there we go. All right, so I'm just gonna do a quick little video cam. Everyone can see, uh, I hope everybody can see me okay. All right, good to see you all. All right, beautiful. Good, good, good. All right, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Fausto Puglisi, President and Founder of Cyber Trade University. I'd like to thank you all uh, for being here uh, during your lunch break. I'm going to talk about how to beat the smart money at their own game. And the most important thing that you all need to understand is that why are we really here? We're here to make money. And you just saw a video of uh, just a very few of some of the students that we train. And the big thing you have to learn from that area, watching that video, is these people just like you. They just want to, you know, they're sick and tired of going to schools, other schools, telling them, you know, to trade different markets and blowing up their accounts or, or just, just want to take matters in their own hands. Just do it the right way. So uh, we have a very, uh, very tight, very good community at Cyber Trade University. And we had to show you exactly that some of you guys just making trading just more complicated than what it really is. All right. And that's what it, and that's what we're basically going to talk about. So let me just change the slide here. Uh, can everyone see the PowerPoint? Can everybody see our PowerPoint? Just want to just get a check. Just give me a yes. All right, perfect. Okay, good. All right, so um, with that, what we're gonna what we're gonna basically talk about is I'm gonna talk about how to you know be a smart trader, how to utilize the market by using time and sales, understanding what level three is how to reach hearts, keeping it just very, very simple. Because a lot of you guys are doing it backwards. I don't care how much money you spent, but I'm telling you right now, you're going to see after today that trading is not as complicated what you need. And it just really just comes down to just following the smart money. That's all. It's all it takes. Now, when I first started, I want to tell you a little bit of history about myself because, you know, <laughs> trading is like, you know, it's like taking care of your health. This is something that, you, you know, is very, very important. And when you get sick, you go to the doctor and you want to make sure that you're going to, you know, you're going to get better. Well, trading is going to be with you for the rest of your life. That's why you're here. You want to, you know, you can eventually trade your own IRA or if you're not trading it right now. You dealt with people out there that are trading for you and they failed miserably. So let me just tell you a little bit about myself because I was that ignorant 22-year-old kid 25 years ago. And what happened to me was this, when it came to trading, um, I blew up three accounts because of ignorance. First of all, what 22 year old kid really knows how to trade on his own? It's not something you can learn in school, okay? The way you learn is you have to work for somebody. And fortunately for me living in New York, um, I finally raised the white flag, got a job as a trader. And let me tell you the reason why I didn't want to get a job, okay, as a trader. Same reason why people don't spend money on education. Back then, I had to split the profits. I had to, I had to truck my, my butt to a, a location. I can't work at the luxury of my own home. You know, live in the dream, all that stuff. But eventually, you know, people are making money doing this. So what am I doing wrong? And this is what you're about to learn today. The same thing that happened to me 25 years ago is the same thing that should be happening to you when you're done with our, our presentation. Is that... What the hell was I even thinking? What, what do you mean that you, you could follow people that actually post orders? You can actually follow 70% of the volume? Why would nobody want that data? Why would nobody want to follow the big boys, what they're doing? Why are we going to try to question them? You know why? Because not being educated properly. So listen, you probably see me many times. Um, you probably see me on a lot of brokerage firms. We do a lot of education for a lot of them, but at the end of the day, now we're going to see if this is really going to make sense and if we're going to make money doing this. So um, how I got into the trading business, I do want to talk about that because I get a lot of people ask me, and this is a great question. If you're such a great trader, why do you teach? And I hear the whole time, and I don't take offense to that. Some people get really offensive because they think like, oh, you only teach because you make money doing that. Listen, we're not your typical college, okay? I'll tell you exactly why I do it. When I left as a trader, my mentor has taught me, he says, Fausto, when you leave this office, you're going to leave, you're going to miss Tina, John, Mary Beth, Michael, Jamie, all these great traders. You're going to miss the camaraderie. You're going to lose the technology. The only way you're going to be successful is you have to surround yourself with good traders. And that's what the main reason what cyber trading is all about. It's not about just we're going to teach you how to trade. We're part of a community. 
So you're going to be part of a cyber trade university where you're going to meet traders that we've trained and you're going to be part of that camaraderie because I started the first online educational school and we're going to end, end the first online trading room. So at the end of this presentation, after you see everything that we're going to do, if you're not drooling and want to get into this room and see, okay, Fausto taught me exactly what's going on. Let me see if he really is proved, if he practices what he preaches. Well, you, not only that, you're going to see other people just like you that are doing, that are making six, seven figure salaries. Okay. And I'm not kidding. But once again, don't believe me. At the end of this presentation, you're going to make that a time and you're going to get into that room. But I'm not going to waste your time, my staff's time, and more or less being an interu uh, you know, interruption in my trading room. And that's the main goal because it's all about doing it right and making money. So that is one of the main reasons why I teach and why I'm here today. I'm here today because I want to teach you guys the, how simple trading is and more importantly, hopefully to recruit some of you to be part of our entourage, part of our, 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 you know, our class, our part of our team, you know, because it's all about making money together. It's not about, oh, look how Fausto, how much money he made. Listen, I'm a 12-time world champion. I beat every school. I don't need to brag about it. It doesn't make you money, okay? What makes you money is you need to know if I can teach you how to make money. And that is really the ultimate goal. Because as we work together and we trade together, that's how we're going to be very successful together. Now, question, I have a question for everybody. And I want to do a quick poll really quick right here. And my poll question is this. Um, let me just get my little uh, poll question out here. So uh, I want to basically know what kind of trader are you, okay? So I got a little poll that's coming up right now. And uh, if you guys could just give me a check back, just want to see if you're, we have some stock traders, options traders, futures, forex, want to see what kind of trader everybody is, okay? So why, while you guys are filling out that poll, um, what I am is I'm basically a day trader. And the reason why I'm a day trader is I like to sleep at night. I do do some swing trading, but I'm always a day trader first. I do do some options trading, but with swing trading and options, you got to be a good day trader because it trickles down into those other things. How do you know what's happening if you don't know what's happening over the course of the day? Because, you know, as with day trading, I assume everyone ever heard, heard of the stock Abercrombie, you know, very popular clothing store. And if you don't know how and prepare for it, you could end up being like this stock. Okay, where it goes in, you know, drops from 26 down to 16. I know some of you have been there and have been in situations like that, but where there's, you know, big reward, there's also very big risk. And I'm not really a big risk taker. So it looks like, you know, we have, we still have, you know, we have 34% of you as stock traders, a lot of options traders. And by the way, regarding about being a, a, an option trader, just want to let you guys know, I hate options for one reason only. I mean, I hate it with a passion. And I'm going to answer that in the next few slides, okay? So, and you're going to see why. But my, my big question is this. Let me just stop the results right here, okay? And this is my main reason. Have any of you guys been trained by other schools? Just out of, out of curiosity. Anybody ever been trained by another school? And would they, anybody? Have you taken a, a program with uh, you know, anyone else out there? I'm not talking about a try, like a free, something free. You got scammed, Malcolm? Well, I'm sorry to hear that, Malcolm. And unfortunately, you walk out in the street, you buy, you know, you could go to a supermarket and get scammed. I mean, it's, you know, that's the whole idea of being smarter. And, and just kind of help you out with that, Malcolm. The biggest, and this goes to everybody, um, you want to know how not to get scammed? I mean, I'm going to answer that question at the end, but the, I'm going to jump to it really quick. You just better make sure that whoever educates you is being endorsed by brokerage firms. Regardless of what you read on the internet, regardless of what commercial you watched on YouTube or whatever it is, just make sure that they're being endorsed by brokerage firms. And that's one thing you'll notice about us. We'll be, we're endorsed by more brokerage firms than any school in the industry. Um, and once again, Jim, I feel bad. Okay. All right, so Ari got screwed from Online Trading Academy. Yes, okay. Well, once again, listen, it, it, it's okay. It's okay. But let me, let me tell you what they're doing, okay? Let me just kind of advise you what they're doing. 
You'll notice the first thing they'll do is they'll push an option course on you, a futures course on you, a Forex class on you. And you know what it is? All these different types of uh, markets are very, very attractive. Options, you get, the whole, you get the whole thing telling people, oh, why buy the stock? You could trade the option. You risk so much less. You've got great leverage. Why would you invest all that money? I don't know. Who's more rich? The guy who owns the house or the guy who rents the house? Okay? You know, why would you rent something? Yeah, strategically, you would rent, okay? But your first goal is, is to own. Futures. You know, you know how many people I see lose money in futures because they were trained by the wrong company? You know, the thing with futures is that it's got a great tax situation. And that's what sells for futures, okay? Forex. Oh, why Forex? I could trade 24 hours. Um, Forex is, you know, I get, you know, I remember the day it was like 100 times buying power. Ooh, all of this buying power. You know, they, they forgot to tell you that there's a big spread and there's a big pit that's involved. You know, so that's one of the reasons, you know, there are, there are positives and negatives. But let me tell you why I trade the stock market uh, more importantly. When you turn on the TV or read the paper, what do you read more about? The stock market or about options, futures, forex, and swing trading? I mean, what do you really read more about anything? So not that you can't make money with them. And you know what? I'm glad that you did learn. Maybe some of you learned about it. But the goal is... Before you make a big investment, you first have to understand if you can get it. That's the big thing. And what I've learned is that trading the stock market is really the easiest thing out there, and you're going to see why. And for some of you that you th th do trade the stock market, you're going to see how simple it is. So what is the philosophy behind Cyber Trade University? So let's get right into it, okay? Now, following the smart money. That is really the goal we're going we're to learn right now. Following you have to understand something. If, if I, if someone was, if I could tell you and teach you that you could actually monitor and shadow 70% of the buyers and sellers out there, how much is that worth to you? Because your hundred shares are doing nothing. Okay. There's a guy out there that's trading 50,000, hundred thousand shares. And no matter what you think in that little itsy bitsy mind of yours. Okay. I learned that you can love the company all you want, but if there's somebody dumping it, unfortunately, you're going to get yourself in trouble. So basically following the brokerage firms and follow the institutions. That's all realistically what we're looking to do and follow the insiders. How do I know that? Because I was one of them. Remember, like I told you before we started, before I was a, I started CyberTrain University, I was a market maker. I was one of those guys that was competing against you. Nothing personal, but at the end of the day, you got a winner and you got a loser, you know, and we'll still be friends, but it's just, this is trading. So you got to follow the smart money and that is the ultimate goal. Just like Uber, you know, it's like, well, do I jump into Uber now? Is it going up? Is it going down? How do we know it's going up? That's what we're going to focus on. But before we do that, you got to understand one very important thing. Everybody goes out there, they want to open a brokerage account. They can't, and then and they think, oh, I got cheap tickets, this and that. You got to have the right technology, okay? And I'm not here to sell brokerage firms, products, or anything. I don't want to get into that. We're not a brokerage firm. We don't get compensated by a brokerage firm. We're brokerage firm neutral. But the big thing is this. 50% of the people fail in trading because they opened an account with the wrong brokerage account, okay? And what I'm going to here show you is, is why that is, and not only that, is that there's a big difference between online brokers and direct access. And one of the big things that you, if, if you want to know if you have the right brokerage firm is this. Ask them if they are offering you level three quotes. Okay. Everybody got a pen and paper? Write that down. Okay. Write that down on a piece of paper. Level three. Go out that and write that down. Level three. Okay. Ask them if they have it. If they don't know what the hell you're talking about, after you don't this presentation, you're going to realize you got the wrong brokerage firm. Okay? So, my question is this. We're going to do a quick poll. Okay. Do you have level three quotes? Let's, let's, let's start off with that little quick poll question. Okay? If you're not sure, just write not sure. Just be honest. No one's going to pick on you.
And if you're a student, please don't answer the question, okay? All right, so everyone can basically, attendees can you know, go view the question. Now, look at this very, very carefully. And look how, many, how few of you don't. Now, only 7% as of right now answered yes. That's over 90% don't know what it is. Now, you ready to fall off your chair? You ready to see that, you know, about you getting scammed by other schools, whatever it is. I hate that word, but, you know, uh, you said it, not me. Watch how simple trading is. All right. How do stocks go up and go down? Supply and demand. That's it. Let's just keep focus on that. Supply and demand. Remember those two words, buyers and sellers. Okay. Let me share the results with you guys. There we go. Okay. Buyers and sellers. Supply and demand. Very simple. Kindergarten stuff. Okay. So on the left-hand side, when you look at level three, you're looking at this thing. You're like, wow, what's all these numbers? What's going on? Okay. So I'll, let me explain to you, and then you'll know where we're going with this. So let me get my uh, little pointer out here. Hold on, to get my little animation. Uh, okay, so you probably hope you can see, see my mouse right here. So here are you, oh, I'm sorry, I got the wrong spotlight. There we go. Okay, so here are the buyers, here are the sellers. Whoever wants to buy the stock for the most amount of money is up on top. Whoever wants to sell the stock for the least amount of money is up on top. And whoever wants to, you know, buy for less money's down at the bottom. It's basically one big negotiated market. So this is the true hardcore data of the market. So when you're looking at a stock and you want to know exactly who's buying and selling it, where they are, this is actually the true data, who it is. Okay. Everybody follow along. All right, good. Now, here you have a simple chart. Okay. How do we say what did we say how stocks go up and go down? Supply and demand. All right, so we got a chart on the right. Now, if you notice right here, we're looking at a stock, and it went all the way down to a price of 1130. Went back to 1145, came back to 1130. If you notice, it never wanted to go past 1130. Now, we know when we look at charts, we got support and resistance levels. That's what that trend line is. And it's always, it would be a great advantage to know is it really a support level? Well, how do you really know? Well, when you look at the level three right here, and you'll notice as you work down with the amount of shares out there and at the and what the bid price is, which is all the buyers, you got buyers at 1132, 1130. But if you go all the way down to 1128, you'll notice there's a 150, 105,000 share buyer. Now, if you do the math, 100. And that uh, 100,000 share buyer average, of, you know, at $11, what are you talking about? A million, over a million dollars worth of stock. How many of you guys are buying a million dollars, you know, of stock, you know, in an idea? I probably, probably not that many of you. And if you did, you probably wouldn't buy 100,000 shares of it. Um, you'd probably be more diversified than put all your eggs in one basket. But there is somebody out there that is doing that. And when you look at the chart and you could sit there and analyze it all you want, you're trying to figure out like, why is it not going past? Well, did you see the big order out there? Okay. Now the next question, you're probably looking at it and saying, okay, well, why did it go from 1130 to 1170? I don't know. Maybe that buyer that has his limit order out there to buy it at 1128, maybe he decided say, you know what? Let me just hit the sellers. Maybe he's the guy that ran up the stock. Remember we said, how do stocks go up and go down? Supply and demand. So there was a demand, a couple of people out there selling it and says, you know what? I guess nobody is interested to sell me 100,000 shares. Maybe I'll just go out there and just start executing all the sellers out there. So he's probably the reason why he drove, the stock got driven up. A couple of questions coming up across the high Is level three strictly for stocks can apply towards futures? Nick, yes, it can, okay? I'm not a futures trader, okay? But there is a there is a platform out there that you can see see that on uh, on futures and also on cryptocurrencies. Uh, James, aren't there more than more shares being traded on the dark pools where we can't see yours? Okay, so James, listen, I, I know everything about dark pools, okay? And dark pools make up about one one to five percent out there of what the market. Tell, let me tell you something right now. First of all, if you're worrying about 
liars, scams, dark pools, everything else. I'm just telling you right now that you should just quit trading, okay? Because no matter what business you are, if it's politics, if it's sales, they're all, they're, it, it's everywhere. You just kind of want to play the game, right? That's all it is. It's a game. But that is the least of your problems, okay? This is like, you know, what, the word dark pool sounds like, ooh, dark, you know, like scary. Listen, go on Vestipedia, tell exactly what it is, and it's, it's the least of your problems right now. What is your major problem is following the high-frequency trades, following the dominating brokerage firm who owns most of the shares in that particular stock. That is your concern because in the dark pool, when they cross trades within their own brokerage firm, how does that help you? Okay, what does help you is who's really out there bidding for it. That's what you want to look at. Uh, what else we got? Doesn't market makers trade shares that we don't see? Like I said, it's the same thing like you're talking about, James. And I, and I hope that answered your question. But let's focus on this first, and then I'll answer that question in even more detail because you're going to see when you're done here, that's the, like I said, that's the least of your problems, okay? It's like saying, is it true that a car really needs power windows? I don't know. I mean, it's, it's, it's all relative. So here's an example of, of what's called a demand. Now let's look at a supply. Here you have a stock, um, Lincoln Coffee just went public. You know, it's a, I call it mini Starbucks. It's a Chinese coffee company. And stock, you can see from here, went from $18. In a matter of an hour, it shot all the way up to 20. Now you do the math. If you bought 1,000 shares of that stock and you bought it at 18 and you sold it at 20, how much money did you make, everybody? In, in it less than an hour. Exactly, $2,000. Do that every day, you're making a half a million dollars a year, okay? Now, how do we know it's gonna stop at 20? Because the stock kept going. Why didn't it stop at 19? Why didn't it go all the way up to about 300 or 25? Why 20? Well, the goal of being a good day trader, a good trader just in general, is having a game plan. Well, when you look over here on the sell orders, you'll notice from 18, 1988, 1988, all the way down, once you get down to $20, there was a big seller of 117,000 shares. And from 1030, all the way up, going past 1230, less than two hours after, in an hour, it went up two bucks. In two hours, it can never break 20. Why was that? Where did that brick wall come from? What is what, where did that resistance level? Well, there was 117,000 shares. Now, ask yourself a question, guys. How many of you here are monitoring and seeing those 117,000 share orders out there on the bid and offer? Anyone here doing that right now? Anybody? No. Big difference, right? Shockingly. Think about how much smarter and better trading decisions you would make if you were able to see those orders. Okay. Have I lost anyone yet? <laughs> good, good to hear. So now that you have a little bit of what we're looking at, now let's 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 um let's uh let's do another poll, okay? So do you think this stock is going up or down, everybody? Let's do a quick poll right here. You think the stock's going up or down? <laughs> well, look at the chart. What do you think? All right, now, first of all, I don't understand why you think it stock's going up, okay? If you said it was going down, you're 110% right. Where it's going up, I have no idea, okay? So you can see right here that 82% of you say it's going down, 20% is going up. And I can see other people said, well, it's not enough data. Listen, forget about the data. Okay, looking at the chart, very basic chart, what is the trend of the stock? That's all I asked. And if you said it was going down, guess what? You are 110% right. Now, here is the $64 million question. When is it gonna stop? What do we need for this to stop, stock to stop from going lower than 2120? What do we need, everybody?
We need buyers. We need buyers, right? Does that make sense? We need buyers, okay? We need a big one. Do you see any buyers on a chart? Anybody see, is there any platform out there that tells you where the buyers are? No, there's none up. So how do you know it's gonna go up? How do you know it's gonna technically bounce? What in your mind out there is gonna tell you it's gonna go bounce, okay? But it would be nice if it did tell us that, but there's no program out there that will. There's no indicators, no chart. So, but there is something out there that will tell you, okay, which is the level three. So let's look at the level three chart. We said buyers is what we need, okay? Do you guys see any significant buyers out there um, on this stock that we just looked at? Okay. Wow, look at that. You guys are pretty good with numbers, right? Look at that. So if you said that the 2150, guess what? You're absolutely right. I mean, think about it. Think about this for a second. Do you literally want to compete and think it still will consider it a short going up against the guy who's looking to buy 250,000 shares? I mean, think about that for a second. You're gonna, you want to go up against him? Come on. All right. Now, remember, on the chart, you said it was going down. But then when you add, put this into the equation, guess what ended up happening? It went down, never broke it, not once, not twice, not even three times. And guess what? That buyer was out there. He exposed it. He advertised it. And then you could sit there and think you can analyze every damn indicator you want. Every, you can read every newspaper, or every financial website. But guess what? That guy didn't get back off. And that's probably why the stock went from 2150 to 22. Maybe that buyer says, you know what? I got a hedge fund guy. He wants to buy it. I'm not getting filled. I thought I would get someone that will execute it. You know what? Let me just hit the offer. And he's probably the guy that's responsible who ran the stock up. Does that, does that seem complicated? I mean, it's almost like, is, is it that easy? Uh, yeah, it is. So why are people making things more complicated? I still can't figure that out. Still can't figure that out. Uh, the million dollar question, are they buying to sell or buying to close the order? Nick, does it, see, there you go. Why, why are you sitting there and analyzing that question? Who cares? It's a buyer, okay? You know what? You, exit, you call up and execute. Does it matter? You see, that's where, that's where people get themselves in trouble. I don't know if he's closing out a position or, or covering a short. Who cares? He is a buyer, okay? Whatever his strategy, that's like going up to somebody that's buying a house. And like, I'm just curious, so what's your strategy? Are you buying a house because you want to flip it or you buying a house for your kids or are you looking to, you know, or are you just looking to rent it out? What's his strategy? Why is it? The guy wants to buy your house. End the conversation. Move on to the next one. The more you think about it, the guy's got, you know what? No problem. You ask too many questions. I'm going to go buy someone else's house. And, you just, and guess what? You're too late for the party. Okay. What if they pull the order off? Well, Steve, we didn't get to that yet. We didn't get to that. That's a good question. But at the end of the day, he's out there. And don't ask questions, okay? But he will, that, that could happen. But as of right now, he didn't. Now, let's look at this one. Um, what price, um, what price are, are traders selling LLK at? Anybody want to answer that one? Where are they selling? Where the predominant sellers are on the stock? Jill, what about you, Mike? Friend, don't be shy. Nobody's going to embarrass you. No, first of all, nobody can see your questions other than panelists. All right. If you don't know the answer, give me a question mark. Uh, Bill, first of all, who, who's your broker? He said, Bill just told me he called his broker at level three and they said they don't own, 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 own institutions have it. Okay. So I have an account with TD Ameritrade, and they're absolutely right. They don't offer it, but institutions don't have it. You can get it also. All right, now I'll answer that question at the end. All right, so if you said 2120 with the 26,000 share seller, you're absolutely right. Because remember, I don't want to be, I don't want to, I don't think a guy at 10 shares is going to influence the stock to go down. 1,800, 900, this guy definitely will. All right, so guess what? 
what's the trend of this stock doing? Is it going up or going down? What's the trend of, of uh, LK? Trends going up. And you're absolutely right. It is going up. Beautiful trend. Gorgeous trend. This stock looks like it's going to break out. And I bet if I slap on a couple indicators, it probably even convince you even more it's going up, right? Well, that was at 1230, and this guy was probably sitting there, and now it just got up to him right now. Well, guess what? Let me just change the slide, and let's see what happens in due time. Oh, well, what do you know? It just went from 2120 all the way down to 2040. Darn it, I just gave away almost $800, 80 cents on the trade. How did I not see that coming? I don't know. See the seller out there? It, am I losing anybody? Is anyone confused yet? Okay. No, no one? Good, good. You see how simple trading is? And let, let me tell you this. I was you 25 years ago. And when I sat into a trading room, when I, when I got my job as a, as a trader, and I, I worked for a professional brokerage firm um, back then, and they showed me that, you know what the first thing I said to them? Exactly what, uh, exactly what, hold on, who said it? Uh, Bill, Bill, what you said. Uh, my broker said, oh, you, 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 can't get, you can't get that data. I knew that data was available. But the thing was this, I had to find out, how do I get this data? And that's what, that's what ends up happening. I was like, you know what? I'm like, how can anyone even have a chance of competing against people out there? Why would you even want to question or even challenge someone like that? So what's the old saying? If you can't beat them, you join them. Because <laughs> why are we here? To make money. You think, I, you think I care about Lukin Coffee? You think I care it's a Chinese company that, you know, like why don't they go get public in, in China? Why are they gotta come to the United States? Why are they competing against our Starbucks? Does it matter? You know what I mean? It, it's just here to make money. You think I'm gonna hold a personal vendetta against this company or any other company for personal reasons? No, I'm here to make money. That's what it is. And that's where, that's where people, get confused and that's why people lose a lot of money in the market they just don't know how to play the game um larry says would he have shorted at 21 of course i would short it why would i not short it of course how many of you guys go out there and short do you know we make more money shorting shorting a stock than going long people are like oh you could short listen you like options what the hell do you think an option is it's another, uh, it's, it, that's why they call options another way of trading. Just short the damn thing. Shorting is an, uh, technically it's like an option. It's what it is. All right. Now, what we call these, and um, I came up with this word about 15 years ago. It's called iceberg orders. It's pretty funny. Now everybody's still, not, now everyone's kind of uh, talking about it. But um, you, you're going to hear what is an actual iceberg order? Well, that technically is what we call an iceberg order, okay? And an iceberg order, where I got the name from is I watched this movie, The Titanic. I don't know if you guys remember it. I'll never forget. My wife was crying, and I, I think I even shed a couple of tears at the end. But we all know about the story about the Titanic, and what happened in that movie, or even what happened in history, it crashed into an iceberg. And the reason why it crashed into an iceberg is that they, they it was the most unsinkable ship, right? I'm like, wow, this is great. It's like... It's like someone trading got the most unsinkable trading computer, all these monitors, all these things. And meanwhile, they still lose money. So I, I came up with this word iceberg order because everyone's always focusing what's on top of the water, not focusing other than what's at the bottom of the water. Because what makes an iceberg dangerous is not what's on top. It's how big it is at the bottom. That's just what's floating. And that's why it crashed and sunk. And that was it. And that's what most people will do. They go out there, they spend all this money, they get all this technology, and they forgot the most important one. And that's having the right tools, which is that. Now, let's talk about indicators. Anyone here use indicators? Anyone here use indicators? Okay. So let's look at this indicator right here. Is this stock going up or going down? Let's do, uh, let's do a quick poll. Um, launch a new poll. Let's launch a new poll. Okay. Is this stock uh, going up or down? Okay, let's see. I got the poll question right there.
All right, so we got a lot of you said it's going down, okay? I mean, what we got there? We got a MACD, we got a 200 moving average, we got a Fibonacci, uh, we got a RSI. I mean, I think, I, think, I think that pretty much does it, <laughs> all right? All right, so let me change the slide here. So everybody obviously is saying it's going down. Okay, I'm going to share results. Okay, everything is going down. All right. What did the stock end up doing? You said it was going down. Look what ended up happening. The stock actually went up. Why did it go up? Well, because this is AMD, which I know a lot of you guys are very familiar with. Um, popular stock on the NASDAQ 100. Got 138,000 share buyer out there at 30 bucks. So here's all the indicators, stocks going down, took all the indicators out, kept it a little bit more simple, and sure enough, having that game plan and knowing that order is, look what the stock ended up doing. It went from $30 to 3050. So did you need an indicator to tell you that, ladies and gentlemen? Did you need an indicator? Because to me, it just looks like a, a big thing of spaghetti. See, we have a motto here that we teach our traders. It's called keep it super simple. You see, when you trade, you have to execute, okay? Not go out there and analyze the trade. If you keep analyzing and figuring out, it's usually gonna be too late. The problem with indicators, they're laggers, they're not leaders, okay? So, and, and I'll even prove it to you. Put, the fi put one of the financial stations on, uh, CNBC, for example. Put that station on, because you, you could see live, because they, you know, they broadcast live on New York Stock Exchange. The greatest traders uh, in, the, in the whole industry are on the floor. Look what they're looking at. And you tell me how many indicators you see on those charts, on those little tablets they have. Zero. Hope you want uh, executing more winners than losers. Once again, it's all about following the money. That's what it comes down to. Okay? So leading on um, and getting into a couple more things here. And now that we talked a little bit about level three, now I want to talk about what some of you were just asking me earlier is like, well, how do you know they, they didn't cancel the order? How do you know they got executed? You know, and, and that's a good thing. You know what I mean? And how do you know, which people say, oh, is that a fake order? Which first of all, I don't even know why people say that because there's no such thing as fake orders. There's not a brokerage firm in hell that would let you put a fake order out there. I don't know why even people even say that. Okay, when someone said that to me at a school, I'm like, dude, run as far as you can. This guy has no idea what he's talking about. Fake? I'm like, oh, could you just tell me? Actually, I was at a, an expo and I act like, you know, one of the people in the audience because someone told me that. I said, excuse me, could you tell me a brokerage firm that lets you put fake orders out there? You know, he says, it's, what, what, well, it's that none of them. But you just said they're fake orders. You know, I, I mean, I, way I interpret fake is, you know, it's, um, it doesn't exist. No, they're there. Now, how do we know they cancel them, whatever? Well, that's what we're going to talk about right now. It's something called time and sales. All right. So time and sales is a very important tool when it comes to trading. It's the second most important tool next to your level three. Now, a lot of people take advantage of time and sales because they'll say, oh, it moves too fast. I don't know how to read it. You know, first of all, do you know what chart gets his data from time and sales? That's where it really comes from. So I'm just going to tell you just one or two basic ways of how to tweak your trading. If you just color coordinate it to red and green, you'll just know where the, where the transactions are taking place. So if there's transactions green, that means, because it takes two to tango, okay? That means people on the offer are getting executed. Those sellers are getting executed. Somebody went out there and bought it. That is a confirmation from the exchange that a trade took place. Wow, sounds like pretty useful information. Guess what? You get a lot of reds. That means people on the bid are getting executed. Guy advertised it, someone executed it. It'll come up in the time in sales. Get a lot of reds. Guess what? Stock's going down. Duh. Does that seem complicated? I, I, I don't know why people don't use it. So let's use this example right here. Let's get back to our poll question right here. All right. Um, uh, relaunch poll. Is this stock going up or going down? Uh, Juan, let me, let, Juan has a good question. Does this information translate to options? Juan, let me tell you something. If you can't make money trading a stock, you will never make money trading an option. Options are 10 times harder 
than trading a stock. You trade a stock, it's got a penny spread. You trade an option, you can have almost 25 quarter. I mean, you need a huge spread, time and commission. You know, learn how to trade the stock first, make money trading a stock, then worry about trading an option, okay? Very, very important because it's the movement of stock that makes an option move. And you know what? Everybody has this theory about, oh, I, you got to trade option this way. You got to trade option that way. You know who makes money trading options? The guy who sells the option, okay? That's about 90% of the winners out there. And if you think you get, you're part of that 10%, guess what? You could be part of the 10% of the winners and not be the 90% fa failure. But by doing that, you got to have a strategic strategy of knowing um, what option to trade due to what's moving up the stock. All right. Now, everybody said the stock's going up. Guess what? Congratulations. You're absolutely right. Did you need a chart to tell you that? Okay. We didn't even look at the chart. And sure enough, look what happened here. Stock just broke right through that. Once again, where does the chart get its data from? Time and sales. What do you think this stock is doing, everybody? Look at that. 99, 93%. I don't know how somebody said it was going down, but really it was going up. Uh, let's launch, a new, launch it again. Is the stock going up or going down? Red, 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 red. I mean, listen, follow the money, all right? Just follow the money. So what do you think the stock's doing? Trend sell, sell. I mean, there's transactions going on the bid. If people are selling, why would you want to hold the stock? Okay? Snapchat, look at this thing. Boom. Started this morning at 9.30, went from 1420, now it's down to 1350 in less than an hour and a half. You still want to play that game? You still want to own that stock? Knock yourself out. You can be you can you could you can hold it as long as you want. Now, don't come up to me and tell me, oh, but Snapchat's not down. This is a screenshot. Okay, I'm just trying to show you trends. It's about following the money. Now, the big thing is this, reading the charts. Let's get back reading the charts again, okay? So, you, you know, listen, the, the, the problem with indicators is that all of them are right. And everybody, every mathematician is coming out with a new indicator. What would you rather do? Follow the money or, or, and be a leader, or would you want to be a follower and follow the indicator? You want to be a lagger, you want to be a leader. Because everybody out there is talking about these indicators, and then after a while, you just get confused. Do you ever thought about just keeping it simple? You know, just getting rid of all that stuff? Listen, let's stop getting confused and let's play the game the right way. Remember when we first got started, I told you this. I was you 25 years ago, okay? Difference is, I don't think we have any 22-year-olds in back then. So I had, I had an excuse. I was just an ignorant, you know, 22-year-old kid. Now I'm 47, you know, and been doing this every single day. And I know a lot of you guys out there want to do this too, and you want to be successful. You just don't know who to believe. Like somebody said you got scammed. And you know what? I, I get it. And, 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 and unfortunately, you know, I can't speak for the other people out there. As long as you did your homework, my biggest thing, as I tell everybody, as long as they're being endorsed by a brokerage firm, because let me tell you, a lot of these brokerage firms, they do background checks on us, okay? So regardless of what you read on the internet and say, oh, I, I heard, I read a, a, bad, a bad negative on you. You know what, you, first of all, when you, treat, when you train hundreds of thousands of people out there, you can't win every single vote, okay? But I can tell you this, every one of you are gonna need to learn from not just one, but several people. You should sample it. And the biggest thing that I always recommend to everybody is don't judge the instructor how great he is. See how he trained those people. See if there were results there, okay? Because if they got results and they were just like you, it's gonna make you a better trader. As long as you keep it simple, you learn how to keep the basics, that's what it's all about. Not having these six monitors and you know all this fancy stuff and spending all this money. Let me, let me tell you something. If you can't make money with one monitor, how the hell are you going to do four? I, it just blows my mind. So let's talk about some big movers at CTU, how we found these big movers. Because now, I, I don't know, any of you guys follow us on YouTube? I mean, you, every morning I'm posting on YouTube of our pre-market. You know, we make most of our money in the pre-market. I mean, that was a great stock today. Um, by the way, it's still moving. I'm just going to bring this back up and just show you this one right here. Um, MLTN. Let me just bring this one up here for you. Uh, 
This one was great. Let me share it with you. Oops. All right, can everyone see that really quick? Can everybody see this really quick right here? This, uh, yes, okay. MLTN, everybody see the, the chart? Can everybody see my chart? Malcolm, you could see it? Okay, good. So look at this stock. At eight o'clock this morning, this stock started at $3. $3. At nine o'clock, it was already at four, okay? Think about that. You buy a thousand shares. At $3 in less than an hour, you could sell it for a dollar and make yourself a thousand dollars. Do that every single day, it's a quarter of a million dollars. And guess what? Look where it is right now. It's at six. You could have still traded the stock. Think about it owning at three and selling it now at six. You made three thousand dollars. By the way, did you need an option to do that? Because another thing people think is like, oh, I never heard of the stock. Um, oh, I don't trade stocks because it's too cheap, or they might think, oh, this must be a penny stock. First of all, we, we only trade NASDAQ National, okay? What's wrong about making money? You think I care what this company, they might have the cure for cancer. Oh, oh, now you said that, maybe I'll buy it now. Who cares? You know, you're in the business to make money. You're a trader, these stocks move all the time. And, you know, and I posted it right on YouTube. I said, hey, look, we got, go on my YouTube channel this morning. Posted it right before the market opened up. Hey, you want to see a stock going up 100% pre-market? See where it's going now? You know, we do this all the time. So how do we find these big movers? Listen, we just strictly just work off the big percentage gainers and losers. I don't have a crystal ball, okay? We just trade stocks like right here. We just find them like MGI yesterday. Great stock, 163%, 54%. Look at all these stocks, 50%. Like, People wish they could make that in a year. We do it in a day. I'm not blowing smoke. And guess what? I'm going to prove this all to you once we're done in the next 15 minutes. You're going to see all this great stuff that we do. Um, Mitch has a question. Where was the trigger on your initial buy, Mitch? Okay. Once again, Mitch, how do stocks go up and go down? What did you learn in the past 30 minutes? Anyone can answer that for him? What did we learn? How, what triggered um, a stock to go up and go down? Buyers and sellers, right? So there must have been a buyer on level three. And that's and we watched time in sales because the buyer was not getting executed. He probably was executing the seller. How do we know that? Time in sales. So we just follow the money. That's all it is. It's all that matters. Um, well, Jackie, listen, you know what? There, there are things out here, once again, that make stocks what we call tradable and non-tradable. Not every single stock out there is moving that's within our criteria. You know, is, is, and you bring a very good point. But I have, that, that is something we teach in our classes. What you just, all you need to understand right now is that you finally found, you finally found somebody that, um, that, that knows how to trade the market Taught you how to keep it simple. Because remember, what, I, what you, I just showed you in an hour, I'll tell you right now, I, I didn't teach you how to trade yet. I can't do that. I need, I need you to get in the room to see it, it live. But all you basically, what my goal is, is to show you guys that you've been trading blind this whole time. And trading is not as complicated as it is. And you don't need a lot of money to do it. So what's wrong with that? Abs Listen, great question, Ken. Can you start with a small account? I don't know. MTLN, 1,000 shares of a $3 stock, $3,000. Hell, if you bought 500 shares of $1,500 and you made a dollar, could have made 50, 50 cents on that trade. That's still $500, still a six-figure salary. You know, you don't need a lot of money to do this. I don't know where people get that misconception. ARQL, a morning pop. Look at this thing. Goes from 820 all the way to 980. Do you know that most of our trades, we're done within an hour? This ain't a full-time job. Actually, most of my winners are just in pre-market. MGI, afternoon runner. Look at this thing, $3 all the way to $4. And what, at 230, look at this thing. Goes from 320 to 420. Did you need a lot of money to do that? No. 
That's a, that's a very bad misconception. And by the way, let me just prove my point to you. Do you know when you deal with brand name stocks, put yourself in a brokerage firm situation, okay? If you're dealing in a, if you're a brokerage firm and you're dealing in a brand name stock, are you going to put your worst trader on that stock or your best trader? You figure that out. Because I can tell you this, you're not going to beat those guys, okay? So why even compete them? Let's go deal with the not so uh, compete. Because at the end of the day, if I made $500 on Facebook or $500 at NGI, let me tell you, big difference, less money, less risk, better reward. Because think of the potential income. I don't know if you guys realize this, okay? You don't need to make a lot of money to have a very successful career in trading. If you bought a thousand shares of stock, if it moves a lousy 50 cents, 50 cents, forget about me showing you stocks of $2, three, like MLTN, because it keeps, it keeps going. Stock that's up $3, 350 actually, up 100, to almost 200%. You don't need that. If your goal is just to say, you know what? Social Security's not paying enough. You know, we're getting older, you know, because uh, a lot of our traders are older actually. You know, just to have a nice supplemental income to work an hour a day to make 500 bucks a day. I don't know. It's a lot easier than going on some roof and trying to make a day's pay, you know, getting paid a lot safer doing this. That's why, listen, I don't need to sell you the dream. You know this already. There's nothing better. that's going to pay you more money than trading the market. The question is, you just haven't found the right guy to teach you that yet. And let me tell you something, why we think we're the right company for you and why I want you to be part of my team. Because look at all these brokerage firms up here. Tastyworks, eSignal, Charles Schwab, Tasty Trade, Trade Station, TD. We do education. We're endorsed by all these brokers. I've done, I done education for every single one of them. Okay. And let me tell you something. Do you think a company like Charles Schwab would want Fausto Puglisi to talk to his audience? You think a company like Trade Station would want me to do a morning briefing every, every week to their traders because they're, they're losing money? Trust me, they watch our traders. Okay. And think about these brokerage firms. If you're a successful trader, you don't think they want to find out who taught you so they can get more of those guys. Cause believe me, they make money on you. On your, they make money on you trading. That's how they make money doing it. So, and not only that, everybody look us up on Google. Okay. Google, Google, we're ranked. We're a five star on Google. We are a five star on, on Facebook. All right. You want real, you want real uh, um, recommendations? Go look, at those, go look at those recommendations. And by the way, make sure you guys don't ever look at some bloggers because uh, be careful because a lot of them are spam, spam and they'll probably steal your computer. <laughs> Pretty good like that. But anyway, every one of you need to learn from mentors, every single one of you. And then you'll just realize you'll make more money and have more time to spend with your family, do those things you always want to enjoy in life. But it all starts right here, right now. And what I'm asking you to do is this. I want to invite all of you guys to come into the original trading room, the online trading room that I started 25 years ago, okay? You see trading rooms all the time, right? Well, this is what we want you to do. We want you to come there. We want you to see and not judge us on our winners. I want you to judge us on our losers because the, the problem everyone has is they don't know how to take a loss. And watch how few we have. Watch how we cut our losses and, and, and get rid of it and just jump on the bandwagon on the big ones. That's what you want to focus on. Not on somebody saying, oh, look, buy this, buy that. First of all, it's illegal. I don't know if you know that unless the guy's registered. But we don't make recommendations. We're, not, we're, we're here to teach you how to figure it on your own. And that's what it's all about. So by doing that, this is what I'm asking. I need to know if you're a real person. Okay? We just don't invite anyone in our trading room. And what we're asking for is for $9, okay? Look at it as a donation. The $9 proves to us that you're a real person. And with that $9 is what you're going to get. You're going to get a one week in our cyber group trading room. You're going to get three daily market meetings. You're going to get an afternoon and morning watch list. This is all live. A personal education advisor. Yes, you can even get talk to somebody. I hear people say, I don't understand. I can't believe someone actually called me. You know, and it's not from some other state or other, other country. It's really calling you off. And the guy really knows what he's talking about. We want to show you the professionalism. And we want to show you how important we take this very seriously. Listen, you got money on the line. Okay. 
And the thing is this, when you, when you learn from somebody, you got to make sure that somebody has your back and is going to take you very seriously. And that's what it's all about. Because at the end of the day, why am I here? I'm here to train you guys so I can make money with you. That's what it's all about. But you got to prove to me you're a real person. And guess what? This is what we're going to throw in as a bonus. For the first 20 people that register right now, I will even give you a free coaching session. Now, why would Fausto Puglisi go out there, president of the company, has the time to talk to you? Because let me tell you something. If you were going to get surgery and you're thinking about it, and you know you need it, you know you need it. First of all, you're not going to waste, okay, a doctor's time, okay? Bottom line. And you want to feel comfortable he's the right person for you to do the right job. So the thing is this, but at the end of the day, you can tell you point blank, I'm here to make money, okay? If I wasn't, there's something wrong. I'd be lying to you and anybody would be lying to you. How I make money is if you're a good trader and I could teach you and I could see it, I'm going to tell you point blank. And when you get in my trading room, we're going to make money together because we're going to trade together. That's what it's all about. The training really covers my staff. The real money we're going to make is, you know, trading together. So you got the link right there. Hilly just posted it right there. Click on that link. And if you're a lucky 20 right there, you know, we're going to get you, um, we'll, we'll get you on the list. By the way, I just want to do a couple of shout outs really quick. Um, John from uh, New Hampshire just got your registration. Congratulations. Well, that was pretty quick. Uh, Julie from uh, Los Angeles got your registration. Uh, Sarah from Ontario, Canada, just got your registration. Thank you very much. Uh, Larry, by the way, I there's a lot of Canadians. I see just one person already registered from Canada. I'm still trying to read them as they're going along. But yes, you know what, Larry? You know what? We get a lot of people from Australia, all over Europe, uh, London, Canada. A lot of people like the U.S. market because, you can, listen, even China likes the U.S. market. That's why those companies go public in the U.S. market. You got so much lo more liquidity. Um, you got the free market system where it's easier to see, it's more transparent. And, you know, at the end of the day, you're here to make money, right? So that's why a lot of people like it. That's the beauty of it. So, yes, and you're going to notice there's a lot of people. Uh, I would say I've been, I've been going to Canada for about 15 years. 20% of my traders are all Canadians. All right. So that's be the, the beauty of that. Any other questions, guys? Uh, Malcolm, once my uh, act is finally approved, I can wait to be able to just join. Uh, just got to be patient for the time being $9. Drop the bucket for everything. And I look and learn from you. Well, thank you very much, Malcolm. I really appreciate that comment. More than welcome to it. Uh, by the way, if, if you guys have any issues, you can also call 877-70-CYBER. You can talk to an education advisor. I preferably you'd rather go online and register. It's faster. It's cleaner. You get the automation. Now, listen, let me just tell you guys a couple of quick little things. When you register um, and you activate your subscription, I recommend you to start on Monday so you have a good week. So what's going to happen is you, you'll start your, your – your, you get in the, in the trading room on Monday, but you, you can start today if you really want to. But there are a couple of videos going to come along with it. We want There's a lingo you have to understand, trading lingo. You got to know what it's all about. So before you get there, you need to see what that's all about, okay? Um, you need to know what is – you know. There's a couple of things that we do. And also we have a couple of rules that we have. Because let me tell you, what, you, what you room that you're going in, this is not a teaching room. It's a trading room. And the goal is when you get into that room, you want to see if people actually make money. And by the way, that's, that's like my first thing I tell everybody. If you're going to take training from anybody, and you know what? They might have a great commercial. They might have a, a huge Twitter following, Facebook following. And, and he might be a great trader. doesn't mean he's a good teacher. You know, so before you go out there and do anything with anybody, you know, and if you don't move on forward, I, I get it. Listen, wherever it may be, you, the best way to learn is you go in the room and see people make money doing it. That is the ultimate, most important thing. A um, couple of shout outs really quick regarding about a couple of registrations coming in here. Uh, Juan, there you, I guess that's you before. Juan, Juan from Ohio, got your registration. Uh, Mitch from Cold, Cold Spring, uh, Coral Springs, Florida, just got your registration. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Uh, Jody G, uh, Gent Gentat from what was that? Uh, South Dakota. Is that what it is? All right, just got it. Jean Jeanat from uh, a foreign country, I guess. I guess that's what it is. Is that where you are from? Yeah, I guess that's where it is. I don't know where you're from, but was that New Zealand, I think? 
Well, welcome aboard. That's great. Uh, Razard from Arizona, just got your registration. Congratulations. Rich C, I'll, I'll keep reading them off a little bit more from uh, Maine, just got your registration. Let me just go over a couple of questions. I will register on Monday. But listen, Bill, you could register today and you could start, you don't have to start it right now. Like some of you say, can I start in three weeks? Can, yes, you can, okay? Just get the promotion, you know, because, and, and do this because, you know, we change our promotions all the time. So don't lose this opportunity. Do it. Talk to education advisor. Send an email. When you want to get it activated, activate it. Listen, at the end of the day, if you're going to spend it with me, you're going to spend it with somebody. But you got to, you know, listen, you're doing this. Do it right the first time, okay? You know, because after, do, after taking 17 diets, you're like, you know what? Enough so enough. Why don't I get someone else engaged in, 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 and making me be responsible, make him just as responsible and getting you engaged into it? And believe me, you'll see how important it is. It makes things so much easier when you're part of a team and you have somebody that's a part of your life that's doing what you're doing every day. And then you'll see it because you're doing it now. A couple other questions. Uh, will we talk futures in the room or just stocks? Well, Michael, I don't trade futures for, for a few reasons. First of all, I was raised at stocks. We do talk a little options. We do some swing trading. But if you're looking for a futures trader, um, there's only about two people that I would ever recommend uh, in this industry. If you send me a personal email address, I'll put that, um, send me an email, and I'll recommend who those persons are. And by the way, that goes for anything. If you're looking for a good options trader or a good forex trader, you know, you, or you want a sample, just send me an email. I have nothing to lose. Oops, I spelled my name wrong. Sorry about that. It's Fausto P at CTU Corp. .com. There you go. All right. Uh, let me see what else we got here. What else I missed? I can, there's so many questions coming across here. Um, Rick, uh, hello. Have you ever observed whether or not these are large iceberg transactions actually occurring uh, camaraderie or Fibonacci retracement levels? Uh, do large institutions trade, use uh, bids, buy, and sells? Listen, Rick. Did you register for the nine dollars? Did you pay the nine bucks? Did you get in there? I don't know if I saw you yet. Okay, regarding about your question, why don't you pay the nine dollars? And this is what's going to happen. That question that you asked, if you don't get it answered, I'll give you nine dollars back. Listen, let, let me explain something to you. Do I really? Do you really think I need the nine dollars? Okay, you think I really need the nine? I don't need the. I, first of all, it cost me. Here in New York, we got a $15 minimum wage here. You, you really think by the time I'm going to spend all this time with you to make $9? My goal is not to make $9. My job, when I'm done with you, I want to make thousands of dollars from you because we're going to make thousands of dollars together. That's really what it's all about. So all those kind of questions, those things that you're asking, they're all going to be answered, you know, when you see it live in the market. Listen, have you been watching? Have you been watching MLNT guys since we've been here? Have you been watching it since we started? Because guess what? Does it matter if, if a FIB actually moved the stock? Because since we've been here, the stock almost ran about a dollar. Guess what? You probably if you bought a thousand shares of that stock. You probably be sending me a bottle of Cristal by now. How do we find it? Why is it going up? All those questions, all those answers you always wanted to know are going to be in that room. A um, couple of other people I just want to do a couple of shout outs. Wow, a lot of you guys read some pretty quick. Uh, Vicky from um, Alabama. Crimson Tides, there you go. Congratulations, got your registration. Uh, Mike from Louisiana, just got your registration. Uh, Francesco from Santa Cruz, California, just got your registration. Somebody got a suspicious transaction. Hey, <laughs> okay. all right. Looks like uh, somebody's credit card got declined. Uh, Kenneth uh, S. from uh, Washington, just got your registration. By the way, guys, if you'll notice, it's something also very important. There is a Q&A that comes with it at the end. We're gonna, I want to know what kind of trader you are because, remember, every one of you is going to get consulted uh, with an education advisor. So the more we know a little bit about you, the better and faster we can teach you. Just be honest with us. Listen, there's no reason to lie. But, you know, we want to know, do you know about level three? Did you ever get any education from someone else? You know, um, we want to make sure that you can afford to do this so you're not wasting your time. So make sure you fill out. That those little questionnaires out there. Uh, got four new questions that are coming across. Uh, do you suggest using a scanner such as a trade ideas? You know, good platform trade ideas, but you know what? Once you know, you know, the problem with scanners is that, you know what? 
you got to use them to what you need it for. You don't want something to just got to go out there and tell you this is moving that. You got to know why they're moving. You got to listen. GPS on a car is awesome, but you can't depend on it just on GPS. You got to know how to drive a car. What happens if the thing breaks down on you? What happens if it leads you the wrong way? So, you know, you, you, unfortunately, you're going to have to learn how to trade, okay? So spending all this money on all these technologies, you know, sometimes you're wasting money that you don't have to. Uh, $9 for Fausto. I joined just to listen to you, uh, Fausto's accent. I'm from Boston. Ha, 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 Red Sox. Well, ha, well unfortunately, I'm also, uh, you know, unfortunately, I'm a, a diehard Jet fan. So thank you very much. But I'm not going to hold it against you. You guys have been kicking our butts for so long with the, with, with, with the uh, with, uh, you know, <laughs> your famous, uh, you know, up there, not, not only your Red Sox, uh, but your Patriots, okay? So I <laughs> appreciate it, Rich. But at the end of the day, listen, it's all good. It's all, it's all fun, you know, but we're also here to make money. That, that's something I don't kid around with, all right? What else have we got going on here? You're more than welcome. Dev, uh, Jeff fan, living here in Dolphin country. <laughs> all right. Looks like we just opened up a whole new can of worms. Hey, guys, you know what? But you know what? I kind of use sports. Um, comparing it to trading you guys follow sports right and you see how important it is what makes one team better than the other having being coached and having a good players okay remember it's not that one player that changes everything it's having being prepared and takes time listen it's not something you're going to learn in one day but i taught you in an hour you saw how easy trading could be now let me go out there and show you what it's like in the real market condition. So instead of, instead of going out there and starting to spend money and buying this and buying that, oh, look, Fausto just told me, you know, level three. Oh, I found a brokerage firm or I found it on Intag and get it for $15. Listen, you'll do more damage to you than anything. Just take the $9. You got nothing to lose. And we'll go from there. And I'll give you $9 back if you really think it's not for you. I just need to know if you're a real person. You get a lot of, you know, competitors, you know, um, scammers out there so that's one of the reasons why we do it uh no one what happens is that when you do the seven dollar trial it will begin when you when when you activate it by talking to education advisors because we got to make sure you say who you say you are to also listen we take this very very seriously one thing you're going to notice in this trading room okay i'm going to point this out you're not going to see a thousand two thousand traders in there okay you're going to see a few hundred we're very, very strict we let in this room. You know, you can't make money being in a room with all this, you know, it's chaos, okay? It's a very, we take this very seriously. People are very serious in this room. And if you're not a serious person, then the trading's not for you. And guess what? That's okay. That's good, okay? So you got to learn how to play it the right way. Uh, a couple more shout outs I want to do really quick. Um, Paul B from Colorado, just got your registration. Congratulations. Who else we got going and coming in here? Sachi, as I said, Sachis from Texas, Ruben, Texas, got your registration. Hope I didn't mangle that. I get people to mangle my name all the time, too. When's the last time you guys ever met a Fausto, right? Uh, Carl from Poughkeepsie, New York. Congratulations, got your registration. Okay, a couple of questions coming across here. Uh, obviously, you can see some of our instructors are answering your questions in the trading room. So hopefully you can do that. Uh, our, yes, uh, trading room is live. Monday through Friday. Okay, yes, Eric is just answering your question. How long? How long? Uh, Malcolm, thank goodness for some uh, some rooms I joined had been thousands of traders and it's just too much to chatter. Y yeah, Malcolm, and, and, and believe me, it, it, you, and you know how hard it is to manage to have that many people in a room? It's just chaos. First, you can't make money being in a room like that. That's when you know you're dealing with a company. All they want is to make, is to scam you and make money on your trades. It's really what it comes down to, you know? And, and if we ever got to that point, we would break up the room. You don't need to be in that, with that many people in the room. It's just, it's just a waste of your time, complete waste of your time. All right. You want, you, listen, it's like going to college, right? You're going to do your homework. You're just not going to jump on the first one out there, but you got to do orientation. You know, and this is basically what we're doing right now. You're doing orientation, but you got to have somebody that's involved in your life. That's going to take, take it seriously as much as you're taking it seriously. And that's what you're really looking for. Because you remember what I just said earlier, trading is not for everybody. As much as you want it to be, it might not. And, you know, it's a good thing. Because you know what? You know how much money people lose, you know, and blow up their accounts? It's just, it's, it's, so, it's just so depressing. And you don't want to be one of those people. 
Uh, suggest that IRA accounts have almost short positions. I, uh, my trades uh, do not. Well, listen, Mitch, just because you can't short in your account doesn't mean like, oh, now you can't trade. You can still trade, you know? So you go long, big deal. Could have done well with that MLNT since you've been here, right? A couple other people just coming across here. Alphons from uh, Alberta, Edmonton, Edmonton, Edmonton. Beautiful. Actually, I was up there. Uh, talking of a funny story. I had a student that flew me up to a place called uh, called uh, uh, Deer uh, Deer. Uh, what was it called? Deerfield, something like that, right? It's in between Calgary, between Calgary and Edmonton. And I took a ride up to Edmonton. Never went to the Red Deer. That's it, Red Deer. <laughs> there you go. Thanks. Help me fix that. And uh, tell you a funny story about him. So. It was great about Edmonton. I went up there. I went, to, I went to see a billion dollars. I saw the Mall of America's up there. Unbelievable place. Incredible. But um, let me tell you about this, uh, what happened to this one guy from Red Deer. He, 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 he hired me to come there, train him, and he had all the money. And I didn't want, I didn't want the money. I said, why do you want me to come there? He goes, ah, you know, listen, I want you to come here, Fausto, whatever it takes, whatever expense. I said, are you sure you want to do this? He's like, he says, yes. He said, and I asked him a couple of questions. He says, you know what? You need me to come there. Okay, I'm gonna do you a favor. Went there, went to his house, spent probably thirty thousand dollars on computers. Okay, it, it looked like he was landing the damn space shuttle. Um, never did a trade in six months. Okay, so and if he all it, and it all came down to this, if he just took the trial from the beginning, he would probably re, never would have spent a single dime and would have saved himself so much money. So the point I'm getting to, guys, you gotta you know. Why go out there and worry about do I need this software? Do I want this brokerage account? Why not just listen to the professionals? Okay, watch and see people actually make money doing it, and then you make that call. Just like I was telling you, you know, earlier when I was talking about, you know, some of you said you got scammed. I know why you got scammed because they they they, they looked at you and they sold you the dream. If it was futures or options, they all have a sexy story to them. But at the end of the day, what well, people say, oh, well, I can't afford to trade stocks. Of course, you can afford to trade stocks. You just can't afford to trade Amazon, okay? That's what it comes down to. It just kind of want to play the game. That's what it comes down to. It, all right. Um, all right. So guys, listen. I gotta get ready. We got um, we got the markets gonna be closing soon. So I want to get ready back with my traders in the trading room. I gotta do my. We have a, an afternoon meeting that we do at two thirty Eastern. So um, looks you know, and you see the market's been having a lot of fun. So before we go, listen. I just want to say one thing. Thank you for the staff uh, for making it successful. I'd like to thank the partners, uh, Trading Accounting, uh, Ed Cornwell, helping make this possible, and everybody else. But uh, just want to let everyone out there just kind of realize something. You got to learn how to trade, okay? I know it stinks. I know it's not fun, okay? I know you want to make money now, but at the end of the day, you got to start somewhere. And the most important way to start, you got to spend a little money before you're really going to consider spending money and, and really doing it. And you want to do it right because you could, if you think $9 is expensive, try losing 900 or 9,000 in one trade. For what reason? Ignorance. Ignorance is very, very expensive. So go out there, do what you got to do it the right, do it the right, uh, right the first time because you got to learn before you can earn. You would never give your money to somebody that never knew how to trade, um, trade your money for you. Well, what makes us any different? All right, guys, uh, just two more questions. Should I join even though I do not have level three? Larry, absolutely. I'd rather you not have level three because I need to show and teach you what it is. Don't worry about it. You don't need any of that stuff. If you don't have a brokerage account, don't worry. You don't need a brokerage account. Why go through that aggravation and do that? You're going to hurt yourself. Then help yourself. Uh so how do we uh, tap on our $9 trial before you go? The link is up there. Um, you could see the link just was just posted by Hillary. She posted it there again. Just click on that link. You could actually even just go to our website. If you have a problem clicking on that link, let me just give you that link right here. Uh, you can go to ctu.co, short version of Cyber Trade University. You click over here where it says trading, right here it says day trading trial right here. And right there you could be basically you will get Hundred hours of recording, premium workshops, offer a lousy nine bucks. That's all it is. Okay, no problem. More than welcome. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for being here, and uh, look forward to seeing you all in the Cyber Group room. And guys, remember, learn before you earn. Okay. Thanks, everyone. Happy trading. <laughs>